have quiet in the room, please? We're now going to go ahead and uh, get started with Princeton. We have uh, head coach Carla Berube, uh, Abby Myers, and Julia Cunningham. We'll start with an open statement from, uh, from coach and then take questions for student athletes. Coach, if you'd like to start. Yeah. Um, first off, thank you to um, Indiana. Wow, what, a, what an amazing uh, weekend. And um, the fans were, were incredible. Um, so it was a it was an incredible atmosphere and environment. Um, so hats off um, to you all here. Um, yeah, this is never it's never easy um, to you know see your season and um, we um, we had a great we had a great year um, and I'm extremely proud of um, my team, my staff. The university, um, so much support. The Ivy League, um, we just came up a little short against a, a really strong team, a great Indiana team. Um, but we fought to the, we fought to the end, um, and I can't ask for anything more from from my players. Um, it was, uh, yeah, it was a great battle. We'll now take questions for the student athletes. Please raise your hand. We'll bring the microphones around. Front row left. Um, Abby, you had uh, uh, Ali Papper on you for most of the game. I guess what kind of a matchup was that? I know something that I think you finished. I think you made your first three was your final shot of the game. I guess as, what, what kind of a matchup was? Oh, sorry, I apologize. I guess what you against uh, Ali Papper. I guess what what kind of a matchup was that? What, what did she do defensively that that seemed to work so much? Um, well, I think we. Um, <laughs> are both kind of veterans in the game. I know she's this is her seventh year, and for me, it's kind of like my like my fifth year going into the sixth. So, yeah, we, we both have experience in NCAA tournament games and, and I, in, you know, just tough situations, and I think that she's a, a great player on a really great team, and, um, you know, you can just tell, like, her seventh year, she's definitely a leader on that team, and, and it showed tonight. Uh, but, yeah, I think it was just, you know, a competitive matchup. Um, it was fun. I had a lot of fun out there, and a lot of emotions were, were flying everywhere. But yeah, you know, at the end of the, end of the day, she made some, some, some good points down the stretch, and I think that helped them. Um, yeah. Questions for the student athletes? Yep. Center. Yeah, Kevin Brockway, CNHI. For both of you, uh, what was it like to kind of make that second half run? And uh, what would you say that you guys did to, that really frustrated them that threw Indiana off that uh, allowed you to get back in the game down 14? Yeah, um, we came out of the halftime room. We always write 0-0 zero, zero on the board no matter what the score is. So, you know, we came out ready to play. We knew we, we were down 10 at half. And I think we kind of went back to our principles defensively. We got a lot of stops, got a lot of hands on. Um, the ball there and you know we were able to push and that always leads us to our best offense so um, that was definitely the plan I think in the third quarter you know we held them to to six points in the third quarter and and that's like a big time number you know that's a big 10 team that that can score the ball and holding them to six points in a quarter is is big for us and that was that was our game plan and that kind of allowed us to to crawl back into the game there we're gonna go to a question on zoom next Jen Hatfield Jen, go ahead. Thank you. Jen Hadfield with the next. Just curious for you both. You know, I know the emotions are raw right now, but, uh, you know, for those for for folks who maybe haven't watched you all season, do you feel like you you made a statement this weekend uh, playing, you know, on this national stage and doing what you did tonight? I hope we did. Um, yeah, you know, we just we just really wanted to, you know, Go to the Sweet Sixteen, and <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, th I hope that you know we left our, our mark and um, our legacy. And obviously, it's unfinished business. And I know that the team next year, the coaching staff, they're super excited. And you know, just I feel like we kind of lit the fire um, onto next year's goals. And um, but but yeah, I, th I hope that we we left our, our mark and really open people's eyes to the Ivy League because it's it's a growing league. It's it's really competitive and there's a lot of ballers um, that are that are coming out of that league. So yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think this could have been a sweet sixteen or elite eight matchup. I think um, we put Princeton on the map. I think we made some people aware of, you know, what we're able to do, beat the SEC champs and then come in and 
have a one point game with the Big Ten run, runner up. So I think, you know, for the Ivy League, it's huge. For Princeton, it's huge. I think the mid majors have just been killing it in this tournament and they're putting people on notice. So um, I'm really proud of that. I'm really proud of Abby. I think she's been a huge, huge factor in, in getting us there and just, you know, making people aware of what the Ivy League's made of. Additional questions for the student athletes? Here, front row, left. Yes, just, just following up on that, you guys came in here and there was a lot of smiles as, as you guys came up here on, in, in, into the media room. Is, is that why? Just be able to kind of what you guys accomplished and what you all proved kind of on the national stage? Yeah, you know, I think we have to be proud of what we've done. Um, you know, we worked so hard and obviously not having like a season last year. Um, we just, we've just been working since day one. Um, every practice and, you know, obviously we, we pride ourselves in being student athletes. Uh, we take our academics very seriously and for us to just do that, you know, with, with excellence and then come into practice and, and be focused, never complain and, and just, you know, be our best and, and you know, like embrace greatness. I think it's just something to be proud about. Um, so yeah, we're gonna just hold our, you know, we're gonna hold our heads high and, and be proud of what we've done. But um, we're gonna let it sting a little bit because we all value winning as competitors, and uh, we're just gonna, yeah, we're gonna be happy with with what we've done. We'll go back to Zoom and Jen Hatfield. Jen, go ahead. Just curious with the with the early foul trouble tonight for Abby and Caitlin and Grace, you know, obviously every team says next player up in that situation, but that's a lot easier said than done. So kind of for, for either of you, you know, what was going through your head in those moments where you, you knew that, you know, someone other than Abby is going to have to step up and how did you guys, you know, really hang hang tough in that moment? Yeah, I looked at Abby and I was like, please stop fouling. Please, Caitlin, you too. Um, <laughs> I mean, you know, it is what it is. It's, it's things that are out of our control. Um, so, you know, we just, we went back in there and told them to be smart. We have a lot, of, a lot of faith in them and their defense. But I think Grace did a great job stepping up, scoring big buckets in the first half. And then, again, we're just going to fall back on our defense, you know, hold them um, to as little points as possible. And, you know, we need other people to step up offensively. And I think we did that in the first half. And then... Um, they came back in the second half, and it was a little easier with no foul trouble. So, um, yeah. Yeah, I'm just proud of my teammates out there on the court for, for stepping up, making really big shots. Julia hit a lot of, a lot of tough ones, ones we needed to, you know, just stop them from getting the momentum. Um, but, yeah, proud of my teammates for, for being relentless out there. Any additional questions for the student athletes? Ladies, you're dismissed. Thank you. Thank you. We'll continue now with uh, questions for uh, the head coach. We'll start with um, uh, second row center. Yeah, Kevin Brockway, CD side. Coach, I kind of asked Terry this on the defensive side, but the offensive side, you know, you have the ball down two and uh, the turnover on that play. Are you looking for a three there or two there? It looked like Caitlin Chen had a step there and tried to pass it back, or what, what was your hope on that play? Yeah, um, yeah. Just looking for for Caitlin to to make a play, whether it was for her own shot. Um, you know, she got caught in the air a little bit there, and so um, you know, yes, Abby was coming behind. Um, you know, for an outlet if she did have a shot, and um, yeah, it was a tough a tough play. Um, you know, credit to Indiana that they defended it well, and um, you know, those things those things happen. Front row center. As Seth Tao, Herald Times, uh, as you came back in the in the second half and you know ended up grabbing the lead, what was the response that you saw from Indiana and what made them you know tough to kind of really create any separation on? Yeah, um, tough. <laughs> they're, they're a lot of they're great toughness. I mean, they have great playmakers. Um, it was certainly tough to to defend them in the post. Um, you know, it, you know down the stretch, like just getting around um, Holmes and and. Um, number ten gold, like it, they're big and strong, and um, and uh, of course Berger made some some great plays too. Um, yeah, it, yeah, we couldn't, we got that lead, and then we couldn't extend it. Um, and yeah, credit credit to them, they they made the plays. That's what it it came down to. Second row center, uh, Kevin Barrett, the Hoosier Network. Um, what were you telling your team going into that fourth quarter after only giving up six in the third? How were you feeling as a coach and just simply, what were you telling your team? 
just keep keep getting stops. You know, that's what that's what got us here in, in the first place, right? Is is our defense and you know, we <laughs> we gave up thirty nine points in the first half and that's that's not really who we are. So we really um, you know, the, the foul trouble definitely definitely hurt us. Um, we just needed to get back to, to the basics. Um, and yeah, really proud of the effort um, in that in that third quarter. Um, you know, they actually scored a bit a little bit in the beginning of the third, and then we really, you know, put the clamps down and, and did a great job. So yeah, I'm really proud of the, the way we came back and fought and um, yeah, just kept saying like just keep getting stops. Those will um, hopefully lead to, to easier buckets down the other end and you know, Indiana was tough. They, they, they played great defense as well. Front row left. Coach, did you like this being like in front of 9,000 opposing fans or would you prefer it on a neutral site and do you think that affected the outcome or what would your preference be to play the entire tournament on a neutral site or do you like how you get to host if you're a high seed? Um, neutral would be better, I would think. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we love the environment. I'm not going to lie. Like, it was, it was incredible. Um, but... Yeah, I mean, but again, like if you have this incredible season, maybe you do deserve to to host. Um, but I think I'm on the side of let's let's make it a neutral site, um, like the like the men. Back row center, coach Nick Jenkins in South Central Indiana News Network. Ellie Mitchell had a great game, rebounding with 15 boards. She just seemed in the second half that she could not be stopped on that offensive glass. Just talk about what she means to your team. Ellie is, uh, we, you know, she's just unbelievably relentless. Like right? nothing stops her. Um, she has a, she has a knack of of reading the the rebounds, and then she has this just drive to go after every board, every loose ball, diving. I mean, you know, diving out of bounds to save a ball. Like she's everywhere. So, um, yeah, she's like the heart of our our defense. She was Ivy League Defensive Player of the Year for a reason because, you know, she's. You know, she gives it her all on every on every single play, and and you know, w when she plays like that, which is very consistent, she makes her teammates, you know, play at another level too. So, um, yeah, really proud of her, her effort tonight. But that's what we see day in and day out. You see that in practice sometimes. I'm like Ellie, like, <laughs> let's not get hurt. But and uh, you know, that's that's how she that's how she works. Front row, Steve. Yeah, Carla, uh, Steve Bittenbender, Louisville Courier Journal. Um, Grace got 15 points, uh, but it seemed like there was, you know, definitely stretches during the game where, you got, where your, your uh, defense was able to limit her and, and, and neutralize her somewhat. Um, what, you know, what worked there? And then does it make it more frustrating that um, she was able to get to the bucket there, you know, at, you know, at, at the, probably the biggest play of the game? Mm. <clears throat> I mean, she's <laughs> incredibly gifted and, and strong and smart. And um, you can see she's got a really high basketball IQ. She uses her body really well, protects, protects the ball very well, um, and sort of just like uses the defense to her, <laughs> um, you know, to, to her success. And um, yeah, I mean, she's a hard guard, I, but I think our team did a, a, a pretty good job with her. Um, and, you know, she just made a couple plays, you know, that. You know, I'd love to see that the, the foul at the end too on her arm, um, but uh, yeah, I mean she's she's a really great player. We'll go to a couple on Zoom. Jen Hatfield, Jen, go ahead. Coach, uh, you know, I'll ask you the same thing that I asked the players. Um, do you feel like you guys made made a statement this weekend, and then specifically looking at the box score with Abby being held below her average? Um, you know, do you feel like you showed something with the supporting cast and how they stepped up as well? Yeah, absolutely. I, I do think um, we, you know, showed the national, you know, on the national stage that we can compete with anyone. Um, you know, we got, we have players, we have very talented players um, that work really hard and play together and play for each other and have a lot of fun. I think it's a it's a great recipe, um, you know, to, to show everyone out there um, that that Princeton basketball and the Ivy League is is really great. So, um, yeah, just just proud of proud of us, and and you know, hopefully, 
we just keep we keep taking off. We've got to skip daily on Zoom. Skip, go ahead. Skip Daly with the South Central Indiana News Network. Coach, congratulations, first off, on an amazing season. Thanks, as, a, uh, as a Connecticut native, I had the privilege to watch you play back in that 95 championship year uh, with a completely filled Gample Pavilion. Um, what's it like now to come back as a coach in front of a, a, in a storied arena like Assembly Hall playing uh, coaching uh, in front of an electrifying crowd? Uh, feels amazing. I feel very, very fortunate to, to be coaching the, the game I love, um, be coaching a group of um, incredible women, uh, incredible student athletes, um, and representing Princeton University. Um, I you know, have to pinch myself sometimes that I'm, I'm I'm able to do this for my my job, um, so yeah, I'm I'm glad that they had this experience. Um, you know, I was fortunate to have experiences like this as a as a player, and um, you know I you know we talked about it. They're they're going to be really hungry to get back to you know games like this. We did mention we we would like to host in, in Jadwin if possible next year um, at our place, um, but you know I I do think I. Um, you know, just just having, uh, you know, these first round and second round games, um, and playing, you know, two really really good teams and showing that that we, you know, we can compete with anyone. Um, you know, I think it shows, you know, everybody out there um, that uh, yeah, Princeton basketball is is really great. Any additional questions for coach? No front row center. You played your college ball at UConn, and I mean, you've said you've seen the top of the sport here. From what you know about about the sport as a whole, what's it take to get a program like Indiana that tradition is not a traditional women's basketball power to the level that it's at right now? Recruiting, <laughs> great coaching. Um, I mean, I think they're doing a great job. I think um, you know Terry's doing an amazing job. They. They play at a really high level, and they've had a you know a, a tremendous season. So it's keep keep getting in players like the ones she has, um, and yeah, I mean I they can compete with anybody um, you know out there. Um, so yeah, it was great. It was great to play against such a such a great um, yeah great team and, and great program. And I hope yeah I hope they you know keep having great seasons like this. That's all the questions we have time for. Thank you, Coach. Okay.